Todd Levine, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer for CND Life Sciences. So we're um, really a very unique lab, and the idea was to really try to understand what's happening inside a person's brain by studying the nerves in their skin. Um, so obviously accessing uh, neuronal tissue from the brain uh, is not a very simple thing to do, um, but it turns out that just beneath the surface of the skin, there are many, many nerves, uh, and those nerves serve as a window into the central nervous system. Dr. John Neal, Executive Vice President and Chief Physician Executive and Network Strategy Officer at Honor Health. This classification, this disease category, um, Parkinson, you know, most prevalent being Parkinson's disease, Lewy body dementia, didn't really have reliable early stage testing. You can imagine as a patient how frustrating it is, you know, to know that things are going wrong but not be able to get a reliable, accurate, you know, fairly simple um, diagnostic test to understand that. And so really what we're seeing is this um, becomes more prevalent in the general neurology community, the use of this test is you have more patients with access to early diagnosis, which then leads to early treatment and also leads to early certainty. Even if it's not an answer that anybody wants, having an answer you know, provides the patient and family a sense of certainty, allows them to really plan their diagnostic pathway, and, and that's, a, that's a huge benefit. So the process uh, is sort of twofold. The first process in the SIN1 test is actually taking a piece of skin uh, in, a clinic, in a doctor's office uh, and then sending it to us. We do take three sites from each patient. So we take one from the ankle, one from the knee, and one from the shoulder. Once we have those biopsies, it's sent here uh, to the lab in, in Arizona. And we run a very different and very unusual type of pathology. So most pathology in the world, say you do a, a colon biopsy, a breast biopsy, a liver biopsy, that piece of tissue is embedded in plastic, and then that plastic is cut very, very thin so that the pathologist can see every little detail of what's happening in that skin tissue. So we do everything in frozen tissue. So the tissue that comes in is not embedded in plastic, it's frozen, and then cut very thick. We're a big advocate for biotech uh, development in Arizona. Uh, you know, we, we have you know, people on our team who have been some of the leaders in developing the bioscience community in Arizona, and so it's something we, we fundamentally believe in. Um, we chose Arizona for a number of different reasons. One was financial. Um, the talent that we have here in Arizona uh, is also um, really very plentiful, um, all local, uh, and all excited to work in an industry and really kind of help build Arizona up in that way. A company, a technology, an idea really starts with leadership, you know, and for us, you know, knowing Dr. Todd Levine, you know, knowing his expertise, having him seen, treat patients, family members, people we care about for a long time, you know, is the exact type of person and type of, type of leadership that we want to invest in, and, and I think it bodes well for the trajectory of the company.